Good afternoon, you guys. Sorry for being a few minutes late. I had a student message me telling me he did his work, so I'm super excited. So I want to let you know what I've done so far. And when you watch this video, please make sure to shout out hi. Reminder, we do have an auction on Saturday. So every time you comment on a post this week, well, really the whole month, but I'm going to do auctions, I think, every Saturday. Every time you comment on a post, you get points towards the auction. Every time you get a point, that's just more that you get to bid on. And so make sure you say hi and leave comments here. Every comment gets you, like I said, a point. Every time you comment in a post from the month of May, you get a point for our month long party. So as you can see, I have these beautiful nails. If you can't see, I'm sorry. Um, so let me tell you what I've done. So far, I've pushed my cuticles back while I was in the shower, and I filed them to the shape I think I want them, to the best of my capabilities. I have horrible nails right now. This um, pandemic is not doing anything for my nails. Hello, people. I see there are people, but I can't actually read your names at the angle my camera is. So we are doing a gel strip application. Excuse me a second. Keeping the dog entertained. So gel strips come in a cute little package now 20 nail files or 20 nail strips in a package you open it up plus it comes with a cute file the files purpose is just to file off the excess but before I go to those things that you are going to do so when you read the package because it comes with these great directions and I'm going to read them to you it says application buff and clean nails with a with a nail prep wipe or nail prep cleanser. So, buff. This is a Jamberry white buffer. If you don't have one of these and you want one of these because you're finding your application isn't lasting as long, what they just want you to do is you just buff it. I haven't figured out exactly what it does, but I know it makes a difference. So we're gonna buff every nail. both hands. Now I'm only going to do a one hand application though. I should have started with this one, but so we're buffing. Okay. Now we have nail preps. They're great, but you can use alcohol. So I have all these alcohol prep pads someone gave me. So I'm just going to use my alcohol prep pad to clean off what I buffed. Again, make sure that you say hello to earn your points towards the auction that we're having on Saturday. I'll be auctioning off three items. So you want to have points to bid with. And I'll be putting an update on points later today. So I have now buffed. I have now wiped with alcohol. So we're all ready for the application. Take these out of the package. You're going to notice the package isn't sealed. Now, the reason I picked these is one, green is my favorite color, and two, these are our 3D. I don't know if you can see that texture, but there's like a texture to it, and it's different. Like, it is pretty cool in my world right now. So I also want to point out we start off pretty small. They're the same size on both sides. I'm probably only going to use one side, and I may, some of these will be, I'll be able to use on two nails, others I won't, just because of the length. So, I am going to do my right hand using my left. I know that for my pinky, that I use this one. So, we are going to just pull this puppy off. Lay it down. I'm trying to make sure I stay on camera here. Now again, just like with our nail wraps, you go slightly smaller than what you would wear. You push it down. Once you push it down, I'm going to use my purple pusher. You can use a um, wooden stick. If you don't have a purple pusher and want one, let me know. I have plenty of these hanging around. Again, leave your comments in the messages here. No heat required on these. I've pushed it. I feel it's good. I'm going to use their awesome 
file that came with it and I'm just going to file off my excess. Again, 90 degree angle. I really should be wearing glasses when I do this. There we go. And poof. I'm going to put that back down because I may have enough to use that on my other pinky or may apply it to a toe or different finger. So I'm just going to smooth that out just a little bit. Poof, one nail done. Moving on. Ring finger. Again, you check for size. Pull it off. Put it on. Loving these. These are so cool. Okay, just adds that extra little dimension. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. And then just file off your excess. This is it. No heat required. I have to hold my file and move my finger. I apologize. Again, three times through. Pulls off the excess. Poof, done. Again, keeping that on my sheet just in case I need it for a different finger or it fits the other hand. Poof, two nails down. Again, I have really short fingernails on this, so it still looks great. So again, Perfect for those. Moving on up. We're going to skip that one in a minute. Yeah. So again, I pretty well, I've done these a few times, so I'm pretty good on knowing what size I need for each finger so you don't see me spending a real long time. I always err on um, the side of slightly smaller. Notice again that I have no problem lifting it up, repositioning, trying to get centered, because of course my finger's not straight. Hey Allison, hey Kelly. Guys, make sure to leave me a comment. Filing off my excess. And then you just Pull, and the rest comes off. Good notice I'm not that worried about the oils off my fingers. Poof, and my thumb. So again, I know my thumb is bigger. I think that's what we use for thumb. And then the others are going to go on my toes. So I am. The other thing that I love about these is one for your thumb. Notice it's flat, more than rounded. Now with my thumb, I'm not going to stress as much. I'm not going to have enough to do the other side on my thumb. Like I know that this is going to end up for a toenail. And I'm okay with that. Again, for this one, I'm going to use my purple pusher just to push down my corners. Um, let's try to keep this on camera. Hopefully you guys enjoy. There are going to be a lot more videos this month than I've been doing. Now that we've got my education under control, I've gotten a hold of every, all students but one out. So I've gotten a hold of 120 out of 121 and talked to each one individually. So we're good there. I have a few already out of the country, a few in other states already. So, that's my teaching side of the world. Again, I'm just going to file off the excess. Basically, it's two times. And then it just pulls right off. Like I said, that we're going to save to put on my toes. So. I'm putting something special on this finger. I'm going to see if it works. I think I have something just hanging out. 
before I send them out. I want to see if they're any good. I save these from a while ago. We'll see if they've dried out. I'm feeling they may have. So these are lacquer strips, but something about it just screams at me that it goes with what I'm doing. I've had these in a Ziploc bag for about three months, so we're going to see if they're any good or not. Sometimes they hold, other times they don't because I didn't really seal it. These are our lacquer strips, just to kind of show you the difference. Still super easy to put on. I have a feeling these have gone bad, but that's the only thing I do know is they do go bad. Once they go bad, they don't stay on, they don't file on. They've just dried out the one thing I don't like about our lacquer strips versus our gel strips which don't ever dry out and I still have to finish filing that one off grab my file let's see what happens when I file off the excess I don't think this is gonna stick but I wanted to try because I found them while cleaning something out and I just thought it was a cute cute accent we'll see how long that lasts with the excess I may use on my other finger. But I just thought that gave a pop to my Manny. Thank you guys for watching, trying to keep it short. I've now done a full gel application with a lacquer strip accent. How fun. All right, thank you guys for watching. Comment if you need any of the tools that I've talked about in this video and I'm happy to send them out this month. So thank you.